Congratulations on listing your property. Our team stays up to date with all the homes on the market, so we know a thing or two about making a house showroom ready. First impressions are everything. Now, something you're going to want to do is turn off all fans and televisions. Go ahead and close those toilet lids. Speaking of the bathrooms, make sure that the sink areas have been wiped down, all the water marks on the mirror have been wiped off, the tub is cleaned, and you've replaced the bathroom if you have a shower curtain with a brand spanking new, lovely shower curtain. Really elevates the entire experience in the bathrooms. Now, another thing you're gonna to wanna to do moving out of the bathrooms is just declutter in general. You always hear people saying that, but the reason why is it makes the spaces feel larger, more airy, brighter, and just, again, a better overall experience for your potential buyers. So what does decluttering look like? Well, decluttering means removing all personal family photos off the walls and maybe patching, patching them with put the, the holes in the wall with putty and or paint. Again, you don't have to do the, all that, but we do recommend at the bare minimum removing those personal family photos so the buyer can envision their family's photos being hung in that house. And decluttering also involves picking up any knickknacks or any loose decorations around the house, toys, um, any blankets, anything like that that have just kind of, that are just generally out. And then um, also removing items, non-essential items from the top of the countertops in the kitchen, kitchen table, desks, even coffee tables. Um, speaking of the kitchen, what you can do there is if you have a lot of appliances or a lot of things out on the kitchen counter or on the, like, the kitchen bar area, go ahead and store those or start packing them up. Now, so for example, an item you could possibly store or pack up would be like a mixer, um, a juicer, if you have 50 different ways to make coffee, um, a blender, things like that. So just go ahead and start storing those. You're moving anyways, you might as well get a head start on the moving process. Um, another thing you can do is make sure that prior to the home showing taking place, that the house smells delicious, like smells very, very welcoming and clean. We don't wanna smell what you had for breakfast or what you had for dinner or your pets or anything like that. So go ahead and you can light, you can light candles throughout the house. If you're not comfortable with open flames, go ahead and use a scented wax or install plugins, scented plugins throughout the home. Another thing you can do is make sure that the blinds and windows, like window curtains, are open so that was letting in a lot of natural light. Keep in mind, if you do this and you don't normally have them open, when you open them for the first time, you will notice that the windows need to be cleaned. So go ahead and quickly hose down the windows, get those cleaned, and take this opportunity to repair any broken blinds, not blinds, broken screens that might be kind of dangling and flopping out in the wind. So we've touched a lot on the inside of the house. There's much more that you can do. It doesn't cost a whole lot of money. This isn't like expensive. It just takes some time and effort. Um, but let's move into the garage real quick. So I want to touch on that. So in the garage, you don't have to do a whole lot. Um, depending on your situation, the main focus here is just to make sure that all cords and all power tools and anything that somebody might trip over or injure th themselves on is kind of pushed to the edges of the garage or put away. Because the last thing we want is for somebody to be touring your house, not looking where they're going, and walk into um, or trip over some equipment in the garage. Now in the driveway, what you're going to want to do is use a degreaser and get rid of any oil and um, grease stains that there may be on the driveway from parked vehicles. And for the curb appeal of the house, this is like the first of first impressions. When somebody pulls up to the house for the first time, they're looking at it, they're looking around, looking at the neighbors, and trying to envision if this is a good house for them. What are their friends and family gonna think when they pull up to this house for the first time? So we really wanna nail the curb appeal. And how you do that is you make sure that the lawn is mowed and edged, you make sure any leaves are raked up, you make sure that the hedges have been trimmed and that any limbs have been cut back. It's really, it really detracts from the overall experience of viewing the house. If you're ducking limbs, or if you're looking at a window and there's just a hedge that's kind of grown partially up over that window. So go ahead and handle that basic landscaping. If you have lots of dirt or, or areas where there's just dirt in general around the house, what you can do is put down bark. Bark is like paint for dirt. It works wonders, it smells great, and it really, again, just elevate, elevates the overall experience of the showing. We're getting towards the end here, so hang on. But what you wanna do is, again, they're walking up to the house, they're looking at the beautiful lawn, there's no oil and uh, grease stains on the driveway. 
and they're going up to knock on the door. What you want to do is you want that front door to be freshly painted. You want it to be a bright, welcoming color, and you want there to be a thick, luscious welcome mat on to greet them on the floor. Now, I know some welcome mats can be funny or you know maybe display your, your sense of humor or your personality or sell in your house, so I recommend you pick a more neutral, a more cheerful, welcoming um, mat rather than maybe something a little bit more edgy. So those are just a few tips. I know there's a lot, but those are just a few tips that we can give you on how to make your house more appealing to buyers so that way you can sell faster and for more money. Call, text, or email the Made For More team today so we can further help you successfully sell your house.